But the big story today is also this prospect of an interest rate hike in August now because inflation is still too high and it's gotten worse over the last six months. Joining me live now is Assistant Trade and Manufacturing Minister Tim Ayres. Uh, Tim, thanks so much for your time. Day, A stark reminder really yesterday that cost of living is front and centre for most, if not all, Australians at the moment. The central uh, component or, or goal of your government has been stated time and time again is it to is it's to ease this cost of living pressure. But we now have the data, Tim. Over the last six months, it's gotten worse. So do you need to do more or are the measures you put in place not working? Well, well I certainly think that it is right uh, that this is the central issue, uh, the here and now issue for Australian households and business, and it is the centrepiece of the government's approach. Uh, that, is, that is what this government is all about. Uh, that's why we've delivered two budget surpluses, the first in uh, nearly uh, nearly 20 years, uh, budget surpluses back to back, downward pressure on inflation. That's why the cost of living measures that the government has in the budget um, are there targeted for households and business. Uh, and those, a significant part of those start, of course, on Monday. Tax cuts for every single Australian, $300 off energy bills. Uh, and, and thirdly, Laura, that is, mm. uh, that, that is why uh, our advice is, uh, and the publicly stated advice of uh, Treasury and the Reserve Bank and the institutions uh, in the economy, is that, our, that, that those cost of living measures themselves on rent and energy take off um, half a percent of, of inflationary pressures. Now, we've also been really careful to say we, we have made significant progress uh, on inflation. Uh, it is, it is uh, half what it was uh, when we came to office, but we are not out of the woods yet and that there is still significant work to do. Yeah, but doesn't this show that um, fiscal measures and monetary measures need to be acting uh, in concert here and the fiscal ones don't appear to be? Well, they, they certainly are. Uh, they, they, they certainly are. Two budget surpluses. Um, our, our opponents, our, our political opponents, uh, who have opposed every mm. single measure that the government's announced could never deliver yeah. a surplus. Even in happier times, they couldn't deliver a surplus. They left us but with a trillion dollars in debt. But if we could talk about the inflation data, pushed away. just just for a moment, Tim. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but, no, sure. But let's let's look at the let's look at the here and now. I understand that, but we also yeah. in a couple of weeks. I mean, you, your government and you were spruiking a tax cut for absolutely every Australian. That is welcomed, but don't you can't you don't you have to admit today that there's a real risk that more money in people's pockets in just a couple of weeks' time could make that inflation story even worse and actually force up another interest rate. No, Laura, absolutely not. What those tax cuts do, <clears throat> apart from providing welcome relief to Australians alongside wage increases that, mm -hmm. that Middle Australia is receiving because of the government um, uh, you know, pushing pu pushing for wage increases in the economy. What they do is lift workforce participation. They um, they show the first signs of assisting uh, businesses and firms and workers to lift productivity. These these measures are productivity measures, um, as well as measures that are assisting ordinary households and business. And I, I watched some of the commentary on your program a little bit earlier. Um, these, these measures, uh, particularly the energy and the rent measures, uh, take directly take pressure off, uh, off inflation, uh, directly feed into the rest of the economy. They are real measures that help real families mm. and real businesses and they flow into the economy uh, in a way that, that helps with the task of reducing inflation. Now, that's... That's what government should be about. Now, we, we, are, we are doing this against the backdrop of some pretty tough systemic issues. We had the lowest productivity growth yeah. uh, in our history 
over a decade okay. of the last government, we've got we've had energy policy stasis. Nothing achieved in the energy system so crucial to the competitiveness yeah. of Australia. Well, that's still firms. a bit of a mess, uh, I would argue, has, and without bipartisanship we, on that we issue, we have used that's the last two years really carefully. Yeah.